you've tuned in to Coed Gaming. What's up guys, my name is Mike of Coed Gaming, and Tekken 7 is set to be released in arcades all across Japan in March of 2015. This game is going to be running on Unreal Engine 4 and is going to be the newest iteration of the Tekken franchise. It's going to feature new characters, new movesets, new areas to fight. This game is shaping up to be one of the most exciting fighters of the year. However, there's a bit of controversy floating around about Tekken 7 in regards to one of the new characters that's being introduced. Now there's currently new characters already confirmed one of which is Catalina, and another is Claudio. These two characters, while they did spark a little bit of controversy when they first were revealed, due to Claudio's insanely powerful rage art, and the fact that Catalina acts a lot like Eddie Gordo and Christy and Tiger Jackson with her kicks, people got a little bit upset about it, but the anger died down relatively quickly, and everything went back to normal. This, however, is not the case with this newest character that was shown just a little while ago. Now, who is this character? Her name is Lucky Chloe. Who the hell is Lucky Chloe? Well, basically, this is a character that from what I understand, people are saying that this is a joke, this is a sham, they want nothing to do with Tekken 7, and that Katsuhiro Harada has officially gone off the deep end, and he's just lost it. This is a character that does not belong in Tekken 7. I mean, wow. This is a game that is known for having a boxing kangaroo, a boxing velociraptor, a block of wood, Yoshimitsu, if you know who he is, you know exactly what I'm talking about with how weird that guy is. I mean, we have angels, we have devils, this is a weird game. This is one of the most varied rosters for any fighting franchise that I can think of in quite some time. And people are saying that this character doesn't belong? My god, how weird could she possibly be? Well. Let's not waste any time. Let's take a look. This is Lucky Chloe. New challenger. Lucky Chloe. Hi. Lucky Chloe. Really? This is the character that you're all so mad about? This J-pop star with blonde hair and blue eyes? This is the character that doesn't belong in Tekken 7? This is the character that's making you say that Katsuhiro Harada has gone off the deep end and that he doesn't get it anymore? Guys, are you serious? Or are you just bitching for the sake of bitching? What the hell is wrong with this character? She's cool! She's cute! She's flamboyant! She fits in perfectly! You're gonna tell me that this is okay, and this is okay, but this is not okay. I must be in the dark. Someone, draw me the friggin' line between acceptable and not acceptable in Tekken 7. I mean, this is Katsuhiro Harada we're talking about. This is the guy that knows how to have fun, and this is the guy that knows how to treat the fighting community with respect, with free DLC, good netcode, a shitload of features in Tekken Tag 2, and I'm sure that they're gonna carry over into Tekken 7, and you're gonna insult him and tell him that he doesn't know what the fans want anymore you know what the funny thing is Harada went on Twitter after all this backlash and said oh you don't like the character how about this how about I make a big muscular skinhead character for you Americans and I take Lucky Chloe out of the North American version of Tekken 7 and I only put her in the European and Japanese versions so you guys don't even have to look at her how does that sound 
And shortly after this, Harada's translator, Michael Murray, went on Twitter and said, Guys, don't listen to him. He's just trolling. He's just messing with you. But again, this is what I'm talking about when I say that Harada knows how to have fun. He's messing with you guys. He can see that you're all being immature and that you're overreacting to something that really does not deserve all this negative attention. It's a character in a fighting game. A character that I think is actually really cool and I want to see how she plays. But, could you imagine if Harada was being serious and we actually lost this character because you guys were bitching on Facebook and YouTube? It would not only effectively ruin a big part of Tekken because now we know that Harada is willing to cut content because people bitch about it, but now it makes the entire Tekken community and the entire Tekken fanbase look like a bunch of bitches who kick and scream until we get what we want. Personally, I'm excited for Tekken 7. I can't wait to see all the characters that are going to be in this game. I want to use every single one and see how they all play. If you live in Japan, have fun. The game's going to be available for you in just a couple months. For us in the US, we got to wait until probably September. But hey, that just makes it more exciting for me as a fan of Tekken. Make sure to subscribe to Coed Gaming. Until next time, peace. Seriously, people will bitch about anything these days. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed the show, please hit the like, favorite, and subscribe buttons down below. No animals were harmed in the making of this film, and if you think we did well, then you're a shallow prick. Don't forget some of the past videos we did, which can be found in the boxes here and here. And as always, you guys are fucking beautiful. Except for Mikey. Fuck you!